I was obsessed with being a National Geographic photographer. And the moment I decided to be a photographer in the ocean, that's where I wanted to work. It was a pretty lofty goal, but you know, having done it now for 18 years, I can say that it's everything I imagined and probably a lot more. You know, I think the things that people don't see is the less than romantic parts where, you know, I'm traveling eight or nine months a year, sometimes more. I typically travel with as much as 15 or 20 cases of equipment, and it's spending a lot of time in airports or waiting for lost baggage at the carousel and things break down in boats and all the things you have to contend with. So there's a lot of work. And when I'm not in the field, I'm back in my home office and I'm preparing for the next thing or researching. So unless you're truly passionate, unless this is something you can't live without, um, I would encourage people to think about other things because it, it has to be a labor of love. But for those of us who do love it, it really isn't work because it's what we want to be doing. You know, being in the field for National Geographic is is a privilege. It's, it's an honor. We, we have a lot to live up to as photographers with the glorious legacy that came before us and all these great photographers who've done great things and put up with, you know, incredible hardships to, to make those pictures and to tell those stories. And um, I, I never lose sight of that. And I also realize that I'm very privileged to be doing this. I could, could have done a lot of other things in my life that wouldn't have been this much fun. Yeah, it's, it's pretty great.